Hello, everyone, folks, and good morning. Welcome to another Synergy of the Day. So this one is going to be a little bit more random, but it's functionally speaking, as far as I see it, uh, the Tactics Ogre equivalent of the old uh, uh, Cannoneer to uh, Illusionist setup strategy from uh, Tactics A2. Uh, but here's basically the deal here, right? So... Uh, for those that have never used a lich, uh, basically one of their uh, one of their signature abilities here is salvation. This is going to average out the MP of the party. If the M if the party has more MP than the lich, the lich will absorb it. If the lich has more MP than the party, it'll spread it among them. So this is going to be one of those wide AOE moves. However, we can use this for an interesting bit of setup. Namely, right over here, if we were to find any unit that has RT that is going to be uh, lower than him, uh, we can create a situation where, like for example, let's swap out these two. Let's go ahead and take uh, uh, take this guy and we'll go ahead and give him a glass pumpkin and this is basically going to be a way for us to use a glass pumpkin uh, to set up for a way for the entire party to quickly sweep a map okay so like let's say we're looking at a situation like this where we're looking at one of those cases you're later on palace of the dead there's a lot of stuff that's standing nearby cliffs there's a lot of stuff that's uh, well potentially gonna be uh, taken out by a few quick bursts but there's just way more units uh, uh, you know on their side than yours you could use that extra round to be able to uh, to set up pretty darn well and it really would be nice to be able to clear some space while you're at it. So, what we're looking at here is a case where, for example, we have Mr. Rodlam over here with his 96 RT. He takes his glass pumpkin, he feeds it into the Lich. The Lich is then going to take their turn, and assuming that Salvation ends up uh, rolling, then we have a case where suddenly we have three archers set up with Tremendous Shot, we have multiple casters ready to go, including two summoners, and then three birds ready to go in and do their whole uh, big uh, wind shot type of deal. Meanwhile, these two go and take up positions to uh, go and uh, block off walkways. And you get the general idea. This is just a very universal setup. I personally like calling it the hypersonic bird missile because I like using it with griffins. Uh, because pretty much anything that's going to have 50, uh, 50 uh, MP required for a move uh, or less is going to be able to work with this. The trick, and why this uh, oftentimes may seem like it's just not quite enough, the trick is to employ Insight. So use Glass Pumpkin and Insight, which causes his MP to go above 400, so in this case 411, while specifically at level 40. So if you're if you're running a setup like this, or if later on you're running Cursed Equipment that can boost your MP past 400, this basically means that they can split it eight ways, which means that this whole party nearby him uh, can go and end up uh, uh, benefiting from it. Now. One thing that's definitely worth mentioning is it will be a little bit lower if you decide to go for the full party. It's oftentimes worth uh, going for, you know, something like this where you just kind of take one of them out of there. Um, but again, it depends entirely on what you're looking for. The nice thing is, if we look at it from a strategic perspective here, uh, if all of this uh, party is able to set up now, this suddenly means that this goes from a 14v12 to suddenly, oh, we have three archers that are going to get three cliff kills. So one, you know, over here, we've got one over here, and we've got one over here. So already three of the heavies are just going to be gone from tremendous shots. So immediately we're taking this down from a 12v14 to a 12v11. Not to mention we're probably going to be able to burst down some of the closer stuff. Like I'd imagine that they'd be able to take out this uh, necromancer pretty darn well. Maybe we uh, slot in a uh, beast tamer to go take this guy on our side. Suddenly this 12v14 uh, became a uh, 12v9, you know? So either way, it this is a really effective setup for a lot of different setups. Obviously, this is going to depend entirely on what your party's looking like. Um, but uh, remember, just put Insight on there. It'll help out a lot. If you've got any MP boosting gear, uh, that'll definitely help as well. Uh, one of the few uses for something like the Sage Staff. Um, anyway, so y'all have yourselves a good one. I hope this was handy, and moving on.